Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Olympus Craft. I'm actually in a bit of a rush because I'm meant to be meeting Fuzzy in a second and I have an idea that I want to try and pull off. I was looking around the server the other day and I found this thing here, a chicken head. Well, I say I was just going around the server but really I was spending two hours killing chickens. But with this I can do this. And I'm going to be a chicken. <laughs> and if you know about the server, you know that I'm not allowed to uh, make any kind of chicken machines anymore after I've crashed a server several times with chickens. But no one said I couldn't become a chicken. And there's something else I need. Let me see. One of the reasons why I need to go and see Fuzzy is to see if I can get some storage solutions from him. Uh, I'm sure I had a backpack. There we go. Standard Traveler's backpack. Cos, I noticed there is a chicken backpack. Have you ever wanted to be a chicken? No? Well, now you are. You lay eggs. And I mean, I've got to do this, right? And now we are a chicken with a chicken backpack. And if I'm not mistaken, we will now slowly start depositing eggs. Ah, okay, we lay an egg every 10 minutes. Okay, that's not very fast. Right, let's go meet up with Fuzzy. Is my toaster making noise? Hello? Oh, God. Ding dong! <laughs> Hello. Seeds, Rob. please. What do you want seeds for? I'm a chicken. Yeah, but I don't want to feed chickens. No. Fine, hold on. There's there's a flax seed. Are you sure you're not like a demon or something? <laughs> <laughs> Rob, why, why, why do you have a chicken backpack on? Well, I mean, I, I'm a chicken. What happens to the eggs? I, I lay eggs, and then yes. I, and what happens to the eggs? I look after them because I'm a chicken. Look, the rules were very clear. I'm so confused. The rules were very clear, right? <laughs> I can't make any chicken machines. I can't make a chicken experience. But there's nothing in the rules about not becoming a chicken. Okay. So you're full time a chicken. Ooh. <laughs> when I've got the head on, yeah. So if I were to get a curse of binding book and give you that chicken head, <laughs> um, I guess then I would be a chicken forever. And then you can't craft anything, or, or f you know, do anything, or use waystones. You literally have to just be a chicken. <laughs> I guess that would make logical sense. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna take the chicken head off. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, hello, Fuzzy. Oh, nice to see you for the first time today. Yeah. Yeah. Just had a very nice idea. So. I heard that you have opened a shop. And I'd be interested, I have opened a shop, yes. Yes, and I'd be interested in purchasing some storage solutions. Uh, ah, but I visited, okay. But I visited the shop, and I couldn't find any way to pay for storage solutions or put in order. Yeah, it's open, but it's kind of just like a, 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 I forgot to put a book on the chest to put stuff in kind of open. Cool, 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 cool. So <laughs> would you be able to show me around and maybe take a payment and uh, therefore give me some storage solutions? Yes, yes, I would. Oh, cool. We, we must we must go to spawn. Okay, that's fine. Where's your waystone? I don't use waystones, Rob. Oh, damn it. I, I embrace the life of a water walker. Do you not even have... Oh, wait, have you got... Have you got... Oh, I, I have that ring as well, to be fair. <laughs> you know what? Spawn! Do you know what, Fuzzy? Okay, that's okay then. I'll just fly over like this. Are you flying? What? Yeah. So welcome to Fuzzy Storage Solutions. Oh, lovely. Unfortunately, these three have been reserved, so you are now left with the only choice of the pink room. 
I'll take it. That's absolutely fine. I'm not. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Cool. Well, it's it's lovely. It, it it's so like it. colorful and and seventies. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, I'm very happy with this. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Code Space in Bolt Hunters. <laughs> <laughs> so this here beacon powers this thing here. Oh yeah. Which is your uh, crafting terminal. You can yeah. access all the storage here for the crafting terminal. Yeah. This is your advanced wireless terminal. I sure you remember this from. Um, yep. Oh, you still oh, Sorry, that, that's, that's me. I'm sure you remember this from. Um, yes. From Battlecraft. From Battlecraft, yeah. And I just right click on there. So, don't I? Yeah, you right click on there to bind it. I have also yeah. included this yeah. here. Oh, okay. So if you pop down there. Yeah. Don't each one of those three things, you can you can pop down. You can get back up with the ladder. Oh, I see. I didn't see that. So each one of these things is a filter, an inventory filter. You set oh. them all to high priority. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Which you one? place. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I see. Yeah, there's three of them. There's one on the bottom and two on the sides. Yeah. More can be added. I see. So what I do, you put a filter item in there that you want to store as bulk, and then you assign it oh. a thing here, and that means that. Whatever you put in your system will first go through the filter system and all bulk items will be stored before they go into your storage. Oh, that's fantastic. That's a really good idea. So what I was thinking, because this costs a lot of diamonds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think an upfront cost of two diamond blocks to purchase the right to use the place okay. and then three diamonds per week thereafter. Okay. Which I think is a very reasonable price. Uh... Uh, one last thing before um, you... Yep. you Pay? Yeah. I would like it just to set your spawn there. Ah, okay, no, I didn't set my spawn. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure what you were gonna do. <laughs> okay, I see I see where this is going. There we go. Great. <laughs> Thank also, you. Also I get the pleasure of killing you. Yeah, I figured that's that that's part <laughs> of the price, isn't it? I was gonna ask you if uh you would help me with a little project I've got going on as well. Uh, okay. I <laughs> I am looking for people to build something for me. Okay. Okay. Oh, what, no. what something is that? I just realized that you're going to have to walk to this place and it's miles away. <laughs> oh, I hate this so much. Okay, I'm gonna waystone to this place and then I'll send you. I'll send you a, a pin and then I'll see you. Like I'll go for like a. A shower or something. I'll be back in like forty five yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah. Ah, there he is. For 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 the viewers at home, it's been a week since you left, and you finally <laughs> right. uh, it's kind of coming together quite nicely. Like I'm I'm making good progress on it, um, but partly because there's a lot of work I don't want to do, and I think I can give it to other people to do. Um, but also, <laughs> but also partly because I want this to be like a community thing. I don't want it to be just, Rob has done this. I want it to be something that we can all work together. I was hoping okay. to get yourself and other Olympians to uh, build a room in Jank. Would you be interested in helping out? Sure, I like building. Yeah, cool. Um, so I can I can show you around. So if you come if you come with me this way, do you have like an idea of something you would like to build in Jank, like something that you, some kind of project that you already had in mind? Well, uh, yeah. my my later season project is actually a mini game of itself. Okay. It's um yeah. it's a multiplayer murder mystery who done it type game. Oh my god! But it's god. on a what? mushroom island. But it'd be fun if I actually brought the mushroom island here. So would I be able to? Mushroomify somewhere? Uh, yeah, so I just hatched an egg there. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? You're actually spot on because I do have an area that needs mushrooms. Um, oh. So this actually is this first level here. If you come down, this is um, this level is what I'm calling the Four Seasons. So Corey has done like a bit of decorating here, but there's definitely more that needs to be done. Um, Ooh. So this is this is autumn, obviously. Um, yeah. So this entire room here, I had in mind of it being full of mushrooms, basically overrun with mushrooms. And ah, I was hoping, cool. And I was hoping to make like custom mushrooms because I think these are just you know naturally grown ones, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so if you would like to like completely revamp this into yeah a mushroom area, that would be fantastic. That would be cool. Is there any rule about light level or anything? Uh, it. It has to be lit up enough that nothing spawns. 
There will okay. be mobs running around as well, so you need to make sure ravagers can kind of get through. It doesn't have to be like... Uh, okay. It doesn't have to be easily get through, but just as long as they don't get stuck in places, if that makes sense. That's everything. Uh, thank you for storage and for helping out. And cool. I'm sure I'll see you later. Yep, I remember. Next Monday. That three next diamonds, Monday. or I'll go break your kneecaps. Now, I've gone ahead and recruited several other players to help me out with Jank, including Staircut, Dayblader, and Code. And in the next week or so, I'm going to try and get all the others as well. I can't wait to see what people are actually going to be doing in Jank. It's going to be really, really exciting. But this also means that if you want to get some Jank spoilers, you better go and check out all other people's channels to see how they get along with their projects. Now, talking about Jank, there's something else I need to do this episode, and that is to build several smallish farms. I keep having to go and collect stuff like stone and cobblestone and wood and all other kinds of materials that are just not fun to go and get. So, I thought if I make a few farms, then that, can, that process can be automated for me. I've got all the blocks I need to make the tree farm. And again, this is a design I have used before, so I should be able to do it without too much difficulty. So if you've not seen this farm before, those trees will grow. And uh, once they've grown, this this saw is gonna come round and chop them down, collect all the items, drop them off with that system there, and we should have trees forever. Oh, let's see it go, let's see it go. Blomp, okay. Yeah, it's definitely planting at the back. And yeah, the logs are coming in. Next up, we're going to work on our stone and cobblestone farm. And just to check, can it do sand and gravel as well? So if we got sand, uh, crushing gravel, gravel crushes into sand, and I think cobblestone crashes into, yeah, cobblestone crashes into gravel. Why is this? What is this thing? Mechanical crafting? I've never done the crafting. What? What is this? Well, that should be the right arrangement for that. So if I briefly break this connection, I'll put a cog here. Overstressed. Wait, let's go for one. There we go. Oh, but it's doing something. Look at this monstrosity we're creating. And then does it just give it to me? Oh, okay. Yay, okay, we got one. We got a grindstone. Okay, oh, we got two. Okay, I've made some progress. I've got the cobblestone part working. You can see it's kind of working away there. Got this very simple design where uh, it just makes cobblestone. These drills then smash it up and it all goes into the system coming out here. And once this is filled up, what should happen is that instead of coming down here, the cobblestone should go down these hoppers and appear here. Where I'm gonna then filter it out and smelt it into stone. And I'm going to crush the cobblestone into gravel and that's going to fill up. And then when that's filled up, I'm going to go through and fill up uh, and then crush it again into sand. Oh no, no. I was just AFK seeing if the farm work and uh, oh, I've been given the AFK payday. And just one diamond, it's not worth it. And there's no one AFK at the moment. This, ah uh, no, what have I done? No, 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 oh, okay, 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 that's, that's not too bad, I thought I was completely surrounded by redwood trees again. Someone has been pranking me. Now, the good news is that this farm is complete, I think. Yes, you can see it's nearly filled up completely, so the system works. It is a fairly convoluted system, and I'm sure there's more efficient ways of doing it. Uh, but we've got the, the stone smelters over there, we've got the, the crushing over here, and yeah, it does seem to be working. So that's all our goals for today achieved. I can now use these resources to expand jank. But with that, unfortunately, it is the end of this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it, and if you have, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.